Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be starting the custom ROM called Simplicity version 5. Now this ROM has been imported from the Samsung Galaxy Ace and it's a very nice looking ROM. It isn't one of those ROMs which uh, is trying to be a Jelly Bean lookalike, but it has like uh, the S3 feel, kind of like the stock feel of a more expensive Samsung Galaxy phone and that's good. And also, I'm not sure who exactly is the developer of this ROM because uh, it, it is posted by Marcus Smith 2626 on XDA Developers Forums but I see a guy named Tom who is also uh, who also has a separate thread for this and it's kind of confusing so uh, anyways let's begin with the installation and then later we are going to review the, uh, the ROM okay so as usual the first step power off the phone and boot into recovery mode you can do that by holding the home button the volume up and the power button so to not waste any minutes I'm just gonna get back to you once I'm in recovery mode okay so for this you need cockroach mode recovery now I'm on a custom kernel and I have it loading uh, by default because it is, it is integrated if you do not have it you can download a CWM zip file from the link in the video description and you can flash into cockroach mode recovery now anyways once we are here as usual the first steps would be to wipe data then we're going to wipe cache just to be clean to remove everything we just had from the previous ROM so uh, we're wiping data now well that sure takes a while but anyways it is done wipe cache this one will be faster there we go done now before installing the zip file let's just make sure that everything is mounted because before for example on nemesis rom there were people reporting that only half of the stuff has been changed of the custom rom uh, and causing them problems just for closes well uh, part of that problem could have been caused because some people didn't mount everything so mount this and okay everything is mounted now go and install the from SD card choose the from SD card and choose the simplicity ROM version 5 zip file after that we are also going to flash the fixed mode status bar zip file you can also find the only for that in the link in the video description that is uh, a fixed mod to this ROM which you need to flash later on okay so choose the zip file of the ROM then choose yes install and now you wait for the installation to be complete I'll be back once it is done and the installation is complete now go back and choose reboot system now and uh, as usual the first boot may take a while so please be patient don't panic just wait a few minutes first and then uh, decide whether you would want to flash a stock room with Odin or yeah you know what to do so anyways let's just wait for everything to load up the boot animation and everything until we are on the home screen so I figured I shouldn't really fast forward videos it still takes up minutes so I'm just going to pause and I'll be back once it has booted up and okay the phone has started up as you can see I couldn't show you the boot animation sorry about that anyways this is the startup screen as usual type on the little android guy so I'm just going to skip all this stuff here also I s I've noticed that there seems to be a change on the tapping sound I don't know if you can hear it but it is different okay so I'm just gonna set these to this and this okay this is the launcher which you get with this ROM um, okay that's good this ROM doesn't include the Google Play Store version 4.0 by the way you would need to manually install it at least that's what the XDA thread says and uh, yep it sure is the old one okay um, let's have a, a quick look at the pre-installed apps as you can see we barely have anything here just the stock needed apps which we have no uh, no other useless stuff so that's very good uh, as you can see the camera is still here since this is a port he claims that it is fixed okay the camera is working so no doubts here and uh, let's have a look at okay it is using OI file manager 
the or the default map file seems to be gone. Doesn't really matter. They're both pretty much the same as you can see here. Kind of like have the same look, except this one. We can go uh, here. Anyways, forget about this. Um, it comes in rooted as you can see. System apps installer with terminal emulator as well. And uh, let's have a look at the status bar. And uh, okay, so I'm not really sure. I haven't checked what this fix, this zip file fixes. But anyways, we are going to flush it. So before using this ROM, I would advise you to reboot into recovery mode. Choose recovery and uh, now from here we are going to choose the uh, status bar mod fix zip file but before everything again I would advise you to go to mounts and storage and mount system just to be sure on the safe side okay we're here now go go to mounts and storage make sure system is mounted Okay, go back and now you may choose install zip from SD card. Now choose the zip file and locate the status bar fix file. Here it is fix more status bar zip file. Okay, select that, choose it, then choose the option yes. And it is done. Press the back button it will take you back to the main menu, the main screen and then choose reboot system now and ok this time we are going to have a look at the boot animation because this is actually my first time flashing this ROM so we are going to have a look at what has been added Okay, so it kind of appears that the sound came first before the boot animation. That's kind of weird, but still pretty cool. Hopefully, in the next version this will be fixed. And uh, okay, now this is the ROM after rebooting it the second time. As you can see, we've got the custom walk screens here, the Android open source walk screens. So that's good. I bet you have a lot of options here to choose any walk screen you want from the settings. So let's have a look at this as well. But first, let's just wait for the mini scanner and everything else to be complete so that the phone won't be any waggy and okay so we've got the toggles here for the Vutu GPS flashlight and everything else you should be familiar with so that's good it has the uh, kind of looks like the Samsung style you know from the S2 the S3 uh, the status bar and everything no uh, no holo looking like you know uh, blue and black so yeah I personally like such design a lot. I love how Samsung customizes their phones. So we have a shortcut to brightness here. That's very good. And uh, many people are reporting that there is a problem with Wi-Fi. So I'm gonna have a look at this. This RAM doesn't come with a kernel, so uh, you still use what you used to use before. I'm with YXP's kernel 1.3.3. So I'm so I just turn on the Wi-Fi. Let's have a look at if it is on. But before that, let's have a look at the settings. Now as you can see here, it is organized and uh, the icons are very good looking. The quality seems nice. Let's go to about phone real quick. And okay, now okay. So the kernel stays, as you can see, I'm with my old kernel. And everything else here. Now let's check that Wi-Fi. Let us go here. And... Uh, it seems to be struggling to scan for Wi-Fi network. Let's go to advanced. Okay, MAC address and available. So this seems to have uh, screwed up my wi my Wi-Fi model. So for that, I, I'm just going to flash back my Wi-Fi driver, which is meant for wide XPS kernel, and it should be back. So I'm just going to give it a try, and I'll be back once it is done. Okay, so I'm back, and I believe that's all the problem. So I just typed in my Wi-Fi password. Now let's try to connect. There we go, connecting successfully from the looks of it. Let's just go to advanced. Okay, I have my MAC address back here and everything else. So that's good, very good. So we have this back. So I suppose the fix to this would be to flash your Wi-Fi driver. Okay, 
Um, now, what else in the settings could we see? Let's check out simplicity settings. Now, this is like uh, these are like the core settings of the whole ROM. As you can see, from here you can access the CPU settings. You can change governors, spare settings such as status bar options, battery options, whether to display this and that, whether to move the clock, uh, what kind of animations, transitions. Uh, fancy rotation animation and a lot of stuff as you can see from here even Dolby settings DSP manager as you can see you can change font size ET tweaks battery bar settings so okay uh, I, I will actually turn this off I don't really like it now there seems to be a problem with the Wi-Fi icon it is it is very tiny I don't know if you can notice it but the icon is very tiny small so that can easily be fixed I can actually release a icon pack for this with a few icons fixed if any of them seem wrong. Anyways, walk screen style. There we go. Uh, an option. We have an option of choosing a few, a few different styled walk screens from here. That's good. And uh, some more stuff here. So I can't really go into detail about what this ROM contains it may have a lot and, and more, many more tweaks many more changes in performance settings to so that so I really cannot go into detail you're gonna have to check this out for yourself you can also read the post in the link in the video description it has more information on what this ROM contains and yeah okay um, people have also reported that the Bluetooth doesn't seem to work kind of weird so I'm not sure whether it is true or not. I cannot test at the moment. So yeah, you can try it out for yourself as well if you're planning on installing this ROM. And that's about it, everyone. Before we end this video, I forgot to check the browser. I I remember they mentioned that it has been changed, but uh, nope, it looks like it is the stock browser. Okay, uh, let's have a quick look at the gallery. These are some of the apps I, I missed to show you guys, so I'm sorry about that. Okay, they appear. And uh, you have Viper 400 here. Okay, that's good. And uh, another thing to check, let's have a look at the style of the task manager. Still the stock default look, that's very good. And this is the free space which you, which you get once you install. That's good. And last but not least, let's have a look at the cool extended power uh, power menu. You have flight mode. Hmm. There a uh, toggle mode seems to be missing. But anyways, you have a screenshot, a uh, reboot option, and a quick recovery option, and a power off. In the reboot, you, you do not get any more pop-ups from the looks of it. Like hot boot and stuff like so that, no such options. Basically, you just reboot. Still, still it's good. Uh, so. This ROM is perfect for the stock lovers. For people who love the stock layout and design, this ROM is perfect. From the looks of it, this doesn't seem to have many bugs and it seems to be working quite stable. So I'm gonna test this ROM for at least a few days and I'll report if I if I see any issues in this ROM, like automatic rebooting, some apps not working and so on and on. Since this is a port, there may be some kind of hidden problems, so we're gonna have a, have a look at this. Until then, you can also try this room. So, yeah, this we end here. Thank you for watching and goodbye.